Very good afternoon to you all, viewers. I hope you're well, every single one of you. Thank you very much again for joining me in a brand new vlog. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Today's vlog should be quite different because I've got two for one. Two vlogs in one video. The first vlog will be I will be visiting my wife's Nanabari. And the second one will be visiting Shah Faran. So it's all about to go down. Guys, relax, chill and enjoy the show. I know. Hello.
Very good afternoon to you all viewers. I hope you're well. Inshallah, every single one of you. Today I am at Shah Faran, Shah Jalal Ali's nephew, Shah Faran. There is a lot of stories behind Shah Jalal and Shah Faran Ali. I don't really know the full history, but I do know the basics. Basics as Shah Jalal, Shah Faran, they came from Yemen, I believe, with 360 companions. At that time, um, some soil was given to Shah Jalal, and they said, wherever this soil matches, that's where you will be staying and living there. So he was a traveler with his 360 companions. They traveled all around. When they came to Silet, that soil matched. And that's where they stayed. There was like a war with the uh, great Hindu king, Gobra Bindu, at that time. Shah Jalal, Shah Faran, they were victorious because of them majority of the people in Silet are Muslims. So many people all around the world from different districts come to these places to pay their respect, not to worship. A lot of people get it mistaken. They say they worship them. They don't worship them. They just come to pay their respects. It's a place of just uh, visiting, sightseeing. Obviously they pay they come here, they pray namaz, they pray their salah, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive everyone, including Shah Jalal, Shah Quran. So let me show you a little tour of this place. A good main gate of it. Okay, so I have actually climbed these small steps and I will be trying, I will, I can better, I'm at Tunazani. Okay, so I will try to get access into this place. This is a place where so many people come here because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. There is hardly anybody here, but normally you get hundreds and hundreds of people here and it's very busy buzzing with so much people unbelievable but let me just show you a little tour and even when you look at these um, trees 
tell you, I don't even exactly know the dates of the trees, but they must be hundreds and hundreds of years old. They've got one behind me here, and then they have another tree here. There's another one here. Okay, let me take my sandals off to take a look. So basically they have said um, you're not allowed to film or record in this area because it's one of the places where I don't know for privacy they don't want people to record. Alright, this is this is the first one. So just a few things I like to tell you. This place here, as you can see on my left, is where all the females, all the ladies, they can pray their salah, their namaz. And this is a very nice, unique place. Let me see if I can get a bit closer. Close for you. This is the second half. I think this is for Izoka. Bichara is written in the frame. Bichara is for Izoka. Bichara is for Izoka. Okay. So this is the place, this is the place where most of the ladies, women's, even um, children's, girls, they could pray there and they have segregated, so that's really good. So this, I'm not allowed to go inside, but let me show you the other side. This place you could see here behind me that's where they do all the paperwork all the accountancy all the transactions whenever people make payments or make donations as charity this is the main office and that's where everything is uh, taken admin work and there you see then the steps you go up that's where the um, grave is of the Shah Faran Alim which we are not allowed to go and there is actually a masjid there as well there is a masjid there where we are not allowed to go but uh, I think I will be ending my vlog from here I will just show you a bit more of this area and um, let's see if I could prove a bit of the Shafaran um, Bazaar as well so let's move to the Bazaar oh,
Viewers watching, normally these um, shops you have on the left hand side, they're really busy. Viewers, normally these shops on the left hand side are really busy in normal circumstances. But because of again the coronavirus, everything is closed, no one's earning no money. They all sat at home and this is a sad thing because a lot of people are losing a lot of money. Even the Nanabari I'm going to, he also has a shop here. I don't know exactly which shop, but he has a shop here. I've been there several times. And they sell all sorts of uh, souvenirs and costumes and the moscas and all sorts of things. But it's sad, everything is... I I Ashraf, 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 Ashra
আপনার ফেভারেট খেতা শোর মাঝে খারে পেশি আসলে খুব ভালো লাগছে আইসি আর আপনার দোকানটা খোলা থাকলে গিয়া মজার মজার আনি দিয়া হইলাম He was about my wife's nana buddy. It's been very relaxing. Just sat here, catching up with a lot of stories, and just chilling, enjoying some quality time, quality family time. This place is near Shafaran. As you, as you know, Shafaran is a very well known place in Silet. A very famous place. Everyone knows where it is. Shafaran is um, Shatulal Ali's nephew, Shafaran. Um, and, um, I think maybe after about an hour I'll be leaving from here. But no, whenever I come to Bangladesh visitors, whenever I come to Bangladesh viewers, I don't know why I'm calling you visitors, uh, viewers, I always like to go to all different areas, visit all sorts of family members. And, you know, sometimes you just get bored, sat at home. So you're thinking, um, instead of being bored, you might as well just travel and see the places don't know when you get the opportunity again to go and visit all these people because you might not even come next year, you might even come after a few years. So that's why I thought I'd come to this place and honestly I've had a really nice time. And I love these uh, village houses, even now when I'm looking at here, you know even it's bad, so low. And um, you know when we're in UK, we're always sleeping on foam, on mattress and comfort. When you first come to Bangladesh and you're actually sleeping and sitting on hard surface, you do complain a lot. But afterwards you notice how your body gets conditioned. Because really you should be sleeping on hard and firm mattresses. Even gel can be quite firm. It's about sitting on the soft surfaces. Your body has to adapt to that. And as soon as you hit the sleep on a hard surface, you pay in the agony, it's all about body aching because you got condition. So this is very good to condition your body. Anyway, I will be signing off from the opportunity. Thank you very much again for your love and support every single one of you. Keep on watching my YouTube channel. And I'll be signing off from Shafaran. And this is basically my wife's um, Nana Bali. Guys, if you didn't know, now you know, Ash Block is signing out. Arman, can you do hula 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 hula